Hello guys, today we're working on a 2006 Articat 600. This has a power valve issue. I took these apart, replaced the cables, cleaned the carbon off the valves, and replaced the oil seals and springs. Still had an issue. After checking it out further, found out that the valve wasn't sliding nicely on its shaft in the oil seal. As I come over here, this first one, which the one I just did, pulls up and says pulls up and slides down really nice okay real nice and smooth this one which wasn't having the problem now is a lot harder and has a couple hiccups down as it's going down so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you what I mean by the shafts on these need to be clean and polished so they slide correctly and no other videos I've seen goes over this problem. Okay guys, I got the power valve out. And so what we're dealing with is that the shaft is sticking on the seal. And it's from the shaft being worn, it's got a bubble in the shaft. So we ended up putting a new seal on there and we actually got the seal for a deal once we deciphered how to uh, uh, run the numbers on the seal. And I'll just explain that to you real quick. So these numbers are in millimeters. So let's see what we got here. We got 12 by 21 by seven. So 12 is gonna be the inside across, 21 is gonna be the outside across, and seven is gonna be the thickness of this. So we got 12 millimeter by 21 millimeter by seven millimeter. You'll save about 20 bucks by just buying them online with those uh, specs in mind. So now this shaft here has got some wear on it. You know, maybe in normal cases you might replace this. So, but what we're gonna do is just put the, chuck this thing up into a drill and spin it and start with a little bit of an aggressive, uh, about 100 grit sandpaper, 120 grit sandpaper and Try to take the, you can feel this, try to take the, the dip out of this little bit and make it smoother, the transition a lot smoother. And then we're going to take 1000 grit sandpaper and we're going to polish it. So this isn't extremely sticky like the other one was. The other one just stuck and the cable would bend over when I was trying to come back. But this one you can see right there, it's kind of hard to... It sticks right there it's sticking so and it needs to come down to about right there and so it's it doesn't want to see that so what we're gonna do is get this thing so where it it slides nice and freely and so I got this drill here half inch chuck I'm going to chuck it up in there and I'm just going to smooth her out and polish it now don't groove it you want to be even you know, you're trying to make this thing true again. I mean, I guess you could bring it to a machine shop or buy a new one. Um, but this is a fix for now. Okay, so I just chucked this up, and I can't get the chuck to come, you know, all the way down. Maybe a drill press. It's got a lot bigger chuck. You could chuck it up on the end and be able to get this one little section here. So I'm going to end up having to manually do this. This is going to take most of the time, but... This part of it's already been done right here. So and that took out that wave in there. And so I'm going to manually take the sandpaper over this and get that smooth and get the transition nice on that. Then I'll end up polishing it. So let's see real quick. I got 180 on this. The other sandpaper I'm using is a 1500 grit. We're going to start polishing this thing up. So keep your hands clear, you know, wrap the sandpaper around and what I'm doing, I'm, I'm holding like that while I'm pulling the trigger and going back and forth. Like I said, if you had a, a chuck that allowed it to come out further, you'd be able to polish it a lot better. But you're just trying to get the transition. I can still, well, not as much right there, but right underneath there I can feel a little bit. But I'm just going to end up polishing it. Okay, so I got this thing polished. It's fairly decent. You know, you could red rouge it with a buffer wheel. 
uh, like a bench grinder with a buffing wheel on it with some red rouge that would make this about as smooth as you're going to get it It'd probably make the life of that seal last which we were getting oil up in here and it was coming out from through here onto here out the top through the seal making a mess in the sled we found a frayed cable broken springs there's chunks of springs sitting down in here on both sides um, which caused us to have to get inside of here a little more um, but so we can already tell the difference maybe not brand new smooth but still pretty dang smooth doesn't have that stick to it and that's what we want okay so I got both my power valves done and they are operating correctly It'd be hard to show you right here but you can hear them sliding back nicely that one doesn't have as much of a thunk back okay so we ended up having a problem with the servo so the servo wouldn't spin I pulled the motor off the back or the the magnets I can spin this and everything spins freely I can feel that that's in good shape so what you want to do is hit the red and black and black and red wire don't touch the three on top with power 12 volt power and I used a battery charger with a couple wires coming off and I was getting this uh, bouncy electrical noise just rattling electrical noise and this wasn't spinning just a buzz okay so I took the, this apart and I noticed that a mark from the housing to the magnet wasn't lined up and I pushed on the magnet and the magnet spun freely so the cold probably popped them out of their glue so I found the alignment thank God that there was enough glue and other material to fit them right back into their spot after adding some JB Weld and then I put this back up on there briefly uh, to make sure that that was the problem this spun so hopefully that helps you but now we've gone through on this sled the entire system I just wanted to let you know that there is a set screw on the bottom of this I was thinking maybe unscrewed but there's a set screw 